your certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. Got to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our longtime viewers, Tina Vasquez. She was watching about 30 minutes ago when we were talking about kids and music and <laughs> books and all that kind of stuff. And I said, hey, I like my, you know, I'm trying to expose my kids to 80s hairband metal. And you guys were like, nah, laughing, right? Oh, of course, yeah, you. Tina was on my side. So well, we know Tina's shout one of your biggest fans, too. So <laughs> that doesn't count. I can get into a little oh, Blink-182, but I don't think that's 80s, right? That's not 80s. That's 90s. <laughs> that is, we can that find is. some common ground. All right, there we go. Yeah. There we go, Blink-182. We'll have to tell Jen who Blink-182 is. I know who Blink-182 oh, okay. is. Yeah, right. I can't tell you a song, but it, I could probably sing <laughs> along if you start. small things. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Is this ringing any bells? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now that I know about. All right, dense fog advisory. Here you go. This uh, until 11 o'clock this morning. This is where it's going to be the foggiest. Already seeing quite a bit of fog anywhere from Western Bear County to Bandera County and Medina County. Also up into portions of uh, Comal County. Here's a look at the visibility map. Three miles at the airport, a mile and a half in Hondo. And that advisory is just uh, letting you know that, hey, Hey, there's fog and it could reduce visibility to a quarter of a mile or less. Uh, it is super humid, so I'm not surprised that we're seeing fog. Plus, the winds are light, so that helps with the development of fog. The air is super saturated, and because of that, we're seeing some sprinkles and mist as well. We'll have that bit of rain through the late morning, and then it should get drier this afternoon. We'll see dew points dropping a bit this afternoon, especially farther west along the Rio Grande. The eastern zone, though, stays super soupy uh, with those dew points in the upper 70s. Something to look forward to is a drop in humidity levels for everyone as the front moves south across the region late this evening drier air settles in tomorrow morning we'll have dew points in the upper 50s to low 60s but by saturday morning we'll have dew points in the 50s lower 50s here's a look at live powered doppler radar we had more of the precipitation earlier between about 4 and 6 a.m. And uh, we're starting to see some of this uh, taper off uh, as we go uh, through the next uh, hour or so. May not see as much of that. Across the country, we're seeing severe thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley. Tornadoes uh, confirmed yesterday across Arkansas and Tennessee. Still the risk for some tornadoes as we go through the day today right across uh, portions of the Deep South. This afternoon, we'll see partly sunny skies. There could be just a rogue shower here late in the afternoon. Better chance for maybe a thunderstorm as we go into the evening. This with the front, we're talking anywhere from northern Bear County into the hill country. Could see some of these strong to potentially severe thunderstorms. That's before midnight. Tomorrow in the morning, cooler, drier air settles in. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see some sun. And there's the chance for a couple of lingering showers late on Friday across the hill country and the western zone especially. Severe storm outlook. Look, this is a level one, level two severe weather risk. This is where we could see those storms that could produce some large hail and high winds. Better chance for severe thunderstorms that could produce large hail and even tornadoes anywhere from Dallas to Austin and over towards the deep south. It is going to get a little more unsettled Sunday into Monday as an upper level disturbance, uh, disturbance moves east across the state. We'll see an increased chance for showers and storms later on Sunday going into the day on Monday. Here's your forecast for the afternoon. Highs mostly in the 90s, but it'll feel hotter with the humidity. Actual highs will be in the triple digits along the Rio Grande. Cooler tomorrow, 84, partly sunny. Saturday, a little more cloud cover. Slight rain chance, 80. Sunday, a 40% rain chance. That's in the afternoon and evening, and that 40% rain chance continues into next Monday. Otherwise, on Sunday, it'll be mostly cloudy. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. An increased rain chance in the western zone as we go into Friday in the hill country. Expect to see some cooler temperatures Friday into the weekend. One more extended for the eastern zone.